TV show. Any of you seen that new TV show, uh, Every Day? Brother Times got moved on from uh, six to 11 year old speed freaks, uh, Make a Wish, for five years. Now all of those have grown up into full fledged heads, and now he's got a day show called Every Day. Let's do bananas. You ready? Yeah. Now, as some of you know, I wrote this damn song for Johnny Cash to sing, but he was too damn busy with his Amoco gas, so I had to do it myself. I gave Big John, who was usually standing back here, the, uh, the Johnny Cash portions, which he does admirably. But since he's not here, I'm gonna assign it to you guys, okay? Now, you'll see the part as it comes by. Repetition aids comprehension is the basic theory of American education, so you'll get better as we go along. So once again, we are about to convene the New Jersey Memorial Country Shit Kicking Choir. It was just after dark when the truck started down the hill it leads into Scranton, Pennsylvania. Carry him 30,000 pounds. You got it. Yes, they want 30,000 pounds. A little more fervor, please. For a while, you sounded like the Mormon tubercular choir, as you know. But you'll get better. Well, the young driver just out on his second job, and he was jammed the next day's pasted through. Everyone in that door starts in it. The children play without despair. The backyard slack piles and folks manage to eat each day. Just about 30,000 pounds. Do it to me, New Jersey! Yes, there were 30,000 pounds. Louder! You were a little early over there. I hope your sex life isn't like that. Past the sign that he should have seen Saying shift the low gear of fifty dollar I'll find my friend He was thinking perhaps About the long breath woman Who was waiting at that journey set Started down the two mile drop The curving road did wild From the top of the hill He was pushing on to the short man miles Wound down to the depot Just a few more miles to go Then he'd go home and have a ease the long cramp they away and the smell of 30,000 pounds. Do it to me! Yes, there were 30,000 pounds. Louder! Now this is where the song picks up the momentum and excitement. He was picking up speed as it spread its twinkling lights below it. But he paid no heed to zero and thought of the lights. The lights went through him. His foot nursed the bricks to slow him down. But the better road he did without a sound. He said twice. It was funny how he made the only man who could save him now. He was trapped inside a dead in hillside. Riding on his fair hunchback was every one of those yellow green. I'm telling you, 30,000 pounds. Do it. Yes, there were 30,000 pounds. Blow me away. Sweeping curve that led into the speaker's grave And he missed the thankful passing bus at 90 miles an hour And he said, God, make it a dream As he rode his last ride down He said, God, make it a dream As he rode his last ride down And he said, right back, he need for cars Kept up 15 telephone poles in two houses Moved their trees across seven people Then he lost his head Not to mention an arm or two before he stopped Stopped. And he smeared it for 400 yards along the hill that leads into Scranton, Pennsylvania. All those 30,000 pounds. You guessed it way back there in the cheap seats. They don't call them the cheap seats for nothing. Now, as far too many of you know, I had a lot of trouble ending this song. But perhaps what you did not know was there weren't just three endings to this song. There were actually four. 
In honor of my belated return here to Passaic, four years later, I'm going to do all four endings of 30,000 pounds in the net. Now, help me out on the first one. Maybe we can persuade everybody they like it after all. It went like this. Oh, yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas. Today, you got it now, everybody. Bananas in Scranton, PA. Banana. I love it. I mean, that's a wonderful ending. Well, I sang it to the ins. I sang it to the guys in the group, and that's what they said. They said, Harry! It is amazing how that's the one part of the show I never have to ask people to participate in. It's also amazing how the word spreads. Uh, now, for those of you who came tonight expecting a family show and are horrified by the use of the term sucks, do not be. It has nothing, and I repeat nothing, to do with the biological act performed between consenting and non-consenting adults. Nothing. It's basically a technical term used in the music business, usually in reference to the Osmonds. Well, Sean Cassidy is also qualified, too. I was, I was devastated, and I decided to write another ending. This time, I thought maybe a country and western ending, complete with weeping steel guitars, wailing fiddles, but most of all, good old country harmony by the New Jersey Memorial Country Shit Kicking Choir. You'll see your part as it comes by. Just jump on in. Leave your boots on. A woman walks into a room where child lies sleeping <laughs> you're ready and when she sees his eyes are closed she sits there so silently weeping three thousand munchkins in here and though she lives in scranton pennsylvania she never ever eats do it to the cheap seats not one of 30,000 pounds. Now, everybody, hit it loud, clear, hold it out, raise in volume as I raise my hand and cut off clean. Oh, bananas. Whoa, 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 where's the harmony? Come on, you guys are world famous. I'll tell you, all the side parts, it works out better. Split the hole right down the middle. The men on this side go, Oh, bananas! <laughs> Macho profundo! Oh! The man on this side. Oh, bananas! <laughs> Macho ponderoso! What's the female equivalent of macho? <laughs> I love it! Okay, here we go. Oh, this is a women's part. Oh, bananas, oh, bananas. If you're liberated, you take the lower part. Oh, bananas. <laughs> is it my imagination or that part like balls? That's a technical term, don't worry about it. Now, ladies, we haven't met messing up the world long enough. Women are supposed to be taking over. Come on, a little more oomph. Oh, bana oh bananas. What are you guys dating over there? It's, uh, the women on this side. Oh, bananas! There seems to be some gender confusion here. If you're not sure which part you belong in, we got a straight part here. He's gonna lead that part. Oh, bananas! That's the Anita Bryant Memorial Choir there. Everybody grab your parts, here we go. Yes, there are 30. Thousand pounds. Hyperventilate, giant breath. Oh, banana. I love it. The only problem is I sang it to the insensitive bastards in the group, and once again they said, Harry! It sucks! So 
man. So this is where the other ending came in because I'll tell you, I knew I was in trouble and, and I, figured a, <laughs> I figured a complete change in mood is what I needed. Something like a Caribbean ending with a Harry Belafonte split to the navel shirt, Jimmy Buffett cap, hot sun, green coconut palms, white sandy beach, something like I'm Chiquita Banana and I'm here to say But I don't have the savoir faire of the Alain to pull that off. So finally I said to myself, self, honesty is the best policy. End the story the way you found out about it in the first place, which was coming through Scranton, Pennsylvania on a Greyhound bus in 1965, when an elderly gentleman with no teeth got on board, sat down beside me, and he gummed me the story like this. You see, the man who told me about it on the bus says I ran up the hill out of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Shrugged his shoulders, shook his head, and he said, this is exactly what he said, as closely as I can reproduce it for you now. He said, and I quote, Boom. It so must have been something. Just imagine 30 down pounds of bananas. Yes, there are 30,000 pounds. Oh, mashed banana. Sing away, man. 